so at the meantime I've got a request so I'm going to skive off work again and I'm just going to do a quick request and this came this morning for um, Robin and Susie brother and sisters and they're in Texas so I'm going to do a quick demonstration on the formula for tails now I've shown you how to make the tails there is two ways the formula for the ta tails and I'm going to show you the one where it's concertina on top of each other you can use that same formula by just moving it out two inches uh, and get another effect for it but now I'm just going to quickly show you the formula how you um, end up with your tails and this I'm going to base this on a 54 inch wide fabric so let's move to my drawing board So here now, our fabric is going to start out at it starts out at fifty four inches. We are going to allow for the return, we're going to allow one inch for seam allowance. So that is our return. Our return is six inches. Our seam allowance here is one inches. So we're going to now take this figure away from 54, but we also have a one inch allowance here as well so that's six inches one inch here six seven eight inches so we're going to now deduct eight inches from 54 is a total of 46 inches So now we're going to, this space here is what we're going to pleat. So we're going to deduct uh, the amount of pleats we're going to put in here. Today I'm going to put four pleats in there. So we're going to deduct four and a half because four pleats is what I want. But the return right here, I want this return to be on the front, which is this return here on the front so we say four and a half so we now divide 46 by 4.50 equals 10.22 so each one of these pleats one two three four, and that's the fourth one so each one of them is 10 Point twenty two ten point twenty two ten point but that one's bigger so this one here actually has the half so that here is ten point twenty two and that's the half that fits in and half of ten point twenty two divided by two equals so this one here stays at five point one so one two three four is ten point twenty two and the last one which is a half which everything folds back on is five point eleven so you constantina this this folds which all ends up at five point eleven so this folds so that folds, that folds, that folds, 
and that folds and by the time that folds it comes onto this bit here which will give you Uh, so it's folded back on itself, folded back on itself, one, two, three, four, and then we've got the return here. Something like that. All right, let's see if I can draw that properly. So we have one, two, one, one, two, three, four, folds. And that is the return. So that folds. And that's the fold. And that's the fold. And that's the fold. And that's how you arrive at it. So that is how we fold it. Did I show you how we arrived at the measurement to get this? Yes, I did. Okay. This length here is determined on what you want. And I believe I've shown you that in the last video. Um, if your window is 90 inches, then you half it and you get a tail of half that, which is nine, uh, 45. And from there, it's 45. Here, you half the 45. And that's your measurement there. Or if your swags are taller than that, um, half 45, 45 divided by 2 equals, which is 22.50 here. If your swags is that size, then you make it 22.50. If it's not, whatever your swags is, you make that to the size of your, of your swags. Uh, but I'm, I believe I showed you how to do that. And if you don't want your swags as tall, half the length of your curtain, then you just do it whatever length you wish. Don't make it too small. It looks funny. If you make it too small, can you imagine you wearing a jacket and your sleeve is too small for the rest of your thing? That's what it basically looks like. Um, the swags and tails are just too small for the curtains. I hope that explains. Depending on how many pleats you want, you divide it by that and add a half onto it. So if you want three pleats, then you divide it by three and a half. If you want six pleats, if it's really wide, then you divide it by six and a half. That's how you get your pleats. And if you then don't want them on top of each other, if you don't want them on top of each other, then you just space it accordingly. So you leave each side, you leave a two inch here and a two inch here and you just move it out two inches and the rest that you've got within that 10.22, you just divide it, fold it in half and just leave that two inch gap and just move it out. I hope that hasn't confused, confused you, but that is another story. This is just a quickie for now. Thank you.